Well, forget planes, trains, and automobiles. A totally new kind of transportation is in the works at a NASA lab in the South Bay. These gliding pods could someday pick you up where you live and drop you off at work. ABC 7's Jonathan Bloom reports from NASA Ames near Mountain View. Skytrain in a nutshell is the Jetsons come to real life. In a nondescript building at NASA's Ames Research Center, a little bullet-shaped vehicle creeps down a 50-foot metal test track. You're whisked away at a high speed with silence because Skytran is a passive magnetic levitation vehicle, meaning there's no clitter clatter of wheels. You're riding on a cushion of air. Gliding at up to 150 miles an hour, suspended from poles, Skytran is the first in a category called personal rapid transit. The computer controlled pods pull off the track and into a station. Riders hop in, swipe a card, and select a stop, just like pressing a button on an elevator. It combines the flexibility of a car with the experience of riding a train. People don't like driving now because you're stuck in the car, you can't text without risking a ticket or an accident. So with Skytrain, you'll be able to work and on your computer or your laptop uh, while you're traveling. Skytrain's VP of Engineering showed us how it works. The motor is right here, and that's what propels the vehicle forward. And once the vehicle accelerates, it will then lift up and float on about a centimeter off this track here. Skytrain's designers say the technology behind the system is innovative, but not revolutionary. What's revolutionary, they say, is how much the system will cost cities, or rather, how much it won't cost them. Anyone can build a train system that costs $500 million. Very few people can build a train system that costs $5 million. Skytrans CEO claims his system would pay for itself, charging fares of around 30 cents a mile. It can be built cheaply, safely, effectively and efficiently. And the beauty of Skytran is that it's built in a factory like Lego. One proposed site for that factory is this field in Fresno, where Skytran claims it would create hundreds of jobs. But the city of Mountain View also wants a factory and hopes it'll help them score the first Skytran system. It would allow this area to continue to grow for many years before it comes completely saturated. At NASA's Ames Research Center, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.